what's up guys welcome back to the channel akim sterling here so in this video i'm going to give you guys a quick review of this jvc google tv that i basically have right here so i've been using this tv for the past few weeks now i've been using it testing it out let you guys know the real deal of this tv right here got it done an unboxing all it already just test it out to see how it basically use and i'm going to give you guys my personal experience with this tv right here so make sure that you stick around for that so first i want to look at the box right here this is a jvc google tv this one is basically the 50 inch and it's 4k uhd and the bezel right here there's no bezel and there's no frame around it it's basically frameless so i'm gonna look right now on the tv itself to show you guys a more closer look now before we get into that i'm gonna show you guys the remote right here this is how the remote look guys and this is basically look we have netflix and also youtube we also have amazon prime which is really great. So I'm gonna turn on the TV right now. Now to basically turn on the TV, there's a button behind right here, which basically you can press or you can use the remote. So I'm gonna show you behind the hood right here. These are the connection. So you have some port right here. These are some video port. You have some audio port going on right here and so forth. So if you have these ports, you can basically attach things on it. Also right here, we have two USB um, port right here. And also we have three HDMI cable. As you can see, I have some few things right here. I have my game hooked up to it already. And I also have my fire stick. So we have three HDMI port right here going on right here. So as you can see guys, we have the LAN card right here for the internet connection. And also we have a TV antenna right here. You can basically attach your antenna. And we have some basically home pole right here. You can mount it up if you want to put it on the wall. And also, yes, we come with the feet right here that you can basically use instead so guys i'm just gonna turn it on right now oh it's looking so far turn it on you can choose your account so your google account so for first you can see that i have logged in my google account right here it basically a different account guys so it basically when you turn it on you don't have to use anyone profile you can use your own profile with this tv right here which is very something that i find very interesting so i'm just gonna go on my profile right now show you guys basically how it look so that's how it look guys you can see i have my profile picture right here that shows that which account i'm on and this is basically google tv so all the features right here are some google apps that you can basically go on and download some apps on this right here so any apps from youtube to netflix so any one of your favorite app that you can basically use you can find it on right here so to download up on this guys you can go into google play store i'm going to show you guys how you can do that and to access this is basically home screen as you can see so you can go over to the app so these are the basic apps that i basically have on the tv right now as you can basically see you can scroll through i don't have very much on it and also some apps from other devices so if i have a google account you have apps on your phone if you have an android device these are some apps that you can basically download on it as well which is very great once you sign into your account and you can see up here your libraries though so this library is basically empty i don't have anything um attached to it right now so and that basically how it works now this basically works with internet of course which is something that really great because you have access to those movie and the display on this guys is very great i love what it basically look and also you can see right here some things that you are watching so you don't if you're watching a favorite movie you want to um pick up where you left off you can go right here and see some things that you was watching before as a remote guys it has some great features right here like some profiles and those things so this can use to switch your profile if you want to log out into another device the settings right here which can change some displays and how it looks so when i press this right here you can see you have some option over here see right here some screen saver some input some sound so you can change the sound quality you can change the picture profile wi-fi accessibility for the picture profile you can basically see right here so we can change to standard we can do some adjustment of how we want it to look some contrast and those things some sharpness and we can restore the device if you want to so we can change it all it basically looks on display also you can change the sound quality as well which movie style as you can see you have different options port vivid use any option that you want so right here guys you can basically switch it to different source as you can see right here when i press this i can switch to different hdmi so for example if i press it right here you can see that i have my google home you can put it to tv if you have any tv connection on it you can see my ps5 connected right there hdmi one is empty hdmi three that's my fire stick and as you can see right here no, i don't want to go on that 
I want to go on this right here. And you guys can see the quality of this right here. It's really great. I'm loving this. It's great 4K quality, guys. As you can see right here, it's pretty solid. As you can see, I'm loving this right here. And this is really great. And I'm loving the texture of it right here. You can see how details this pixel is onto the screen right there. It's very detailed, as you guys can basically see. I'm just gonna crop it in a bit you guys see how much pixel this basically have and this is really a great 4k quality monitor as you can see i will say tv which is really great and i can see that this is very thin you can see that there's no um frame right here it's basically frameless on the top as you can see right there which is really great and this is what basic i love about this right here now one of the very downside of this tv right here is gaming on it when you're playing game on this tv right here guys it doesn't really um the refresh rate on this tv is not really so great because this is not really a gaming tv but the quality of this right here in terms of playing video in 4k quality is really phenomenal so this is basically my honest review of this google tv right here jvc so if you find this video very helpful remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content like this and as always i see catch you guys in my next one peace out